be absolutely deafening. Have some difficult, I think, listening to the Swiss national anthem above the din. Look at this. Just a quick check back to make sure that his uh, lap of honour and waving to the crowd hasn't uh, narrowed the gap between himself and uh, Grandol. <laughs> I don't think I've seen anything like this. I've, I've been involved in cyclocross as a, as a competitor or commentator now for, for many, many years indeed. And uh, I, I can't quite remember anybody on the last half lap celebrating the way this fellow celebrated. Mind you, when I used to ride, I was nowhere near the front most of the time, so I couldn't see if anybody waved their hand. But certainly from the commentary point of view, this is quite unique. I'm sure the the eruptions will now take place in the uh, in the tent, and they'll be downing some more of the half flasks of wine. And there we are. Look at this. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't reach out and grab a glass of beer on the way through. Reminds me of the old cyclo cross we used to have in the Northwood Road and Path days, where we used to go round and throw dice and have a little tot of zombie tonic every lap. That was an event, I tell you. But this fellow really is enjoying every minute. I hope you are back at home, by the way. We don't often see a man dominate any sport quite like this one, but this fellow's done it. He's deserving every moment of this uh, final half lap of honour. He's ridden absolutely perfectly. The crowd have appreciated the performance of a man who is now the World Open champion. Switzerland welcoming yet again a world champion. This time, it's Dieter Runkel, World Open champion. Crosses the line. The din is enormous. The elation is there for all to see. A superb performance by a man who judged his season to perfection. From the mountains of Switzerland to the flatlands of Holland, it just shows you how cyclocross takes all sorts to ride. This is a man who's been a previous junior champion, riding in now into second spot then. Champion of the world as a junior in 1989. The second place going to Richard Grunendahl of Holland. And a neat sandwich is about to be completed by the rival of Beit Verbal of Switzerland to take the bronze medal in third spot. Babel, junior champion in 85, second in the Swiss national championship this year, coming second again to his teammate, but he's got the bronze, and Dieter Runkel got the gold. Adi van der Poel, fourth. For Adi van der Poel, the fourth place, a bit of a disappointment, I suppose, but uh, Honiger coming in here into fifth place as such. The Swiss are going to be very, very pleased indeed with that one. And the best place Belgian rider, Peter van and Abeli, I think have uh, stopped Eric de Vlamic from walking all the way back to Belgium by performance. Certainly got him up in the, in the top ten. Much closer for the riders from... Uh, fourth backwards as far as the competition was concerned. The French then, an early charge by Emmanuel Mannion and Dominic Arno with their best place rider uh, just coming in now into sixth spot. And that looks to me, no, it isn't Denise. I just saw one of the Danish riders waving to all and Sonia. I wonder if it was uh, Hank Denise, but I think it was uh, another of these teammates. They had difficulty spotting exactly who it was. Well, the elation then of the Swiss, clear to see, they got to Thomas Steiger into uh, third place in the open race, so the Espoir on Saturday night, I got first and third here. Shortly we'll be having the presentation of the medals for the riders in this, the Open Championship of the World Cyclocross, where we mix the professionals and amateurs together and another look back at some of the gooey conditions that were ridden through by this man, Dieter Runkel, who seemed to float across. That is the mark of a true champion.
Runkel never really once he went into lead, challenged at all, rode superbly and smoothly all around this course. He's training. Here we are. And I tell you, my German commentator friend has difficult listening to the Swiss German, so I won't attempt to understand. I did my best uh, yesterday, but Swiss German and German German is not exactly exactly the same. I can assure you that. But uh, Dani, you can usually find out from the way it's going on that um, uh, the winner always says how easy it's been. Uh, you know, it didn't get challenged once he got into lead. I'm, I can assure that's what's going to happen at this occasion. He just took off, didn't he? Die Neider werden bestimmt jetzt alle sagen, die Schweizer haben eine Strecke für sich gebaut. Das ist sicher nicht der Fall. Die Strecke war fair. Wie groß ist der Anteil, dass man doch drauf trainieren hat können, dazu gebracht, dass sie gewonnen haben? Ja, ich habe das ganze Jahr, die ganze Saison nur auf Kraft trainiert. Ausschließlich für diese WM, wo ich das erste Mal gewonnen habe, habe ich nur noch auf Kraft trainiert. Und das war jetzt das Resultat für mich. Wenn die Strecke gefroren gewesen wäre, wäre sie genau gleich hart gewesen. Vielen Dank und alles Gute, Didier. Danke. Yep, well, I got that bit. <laughs> Many thanks and all is good for you. It certainly was, and he, he did a superb performance there. And, uh, well, perhaps as far as you're concerned, at home wasn't very competitive, and you were looking something a bit closer than that. But I do like to see a champion ride in such fine style. And really, of course, this brings to the end the, the, the cyclocross season, so he'll have to sort of wait and really much until next year where he can make the advantage of that, uh, that jersey. I'm sure we're going to see him in the um, up and coming mountain bike season because that's really where a lot of these riders are heading off to now and with his his career as, a, as an extremely good road rider of the years i think that runko will make the first class mountain bike rider if he he's been doing a bit of it but he really sort of puts his mind to it because there's so much money at stake now and so much as far as the sponsor are concerned as well and i think that somehow here as he goes through the the tent which no doubt i'm sure is being drunk dry of all the liquid refreshment <laughs> i've never seen like that before i tell you uh, then undoubtedly they'll be celebrating this chat's performance throughout the year when he wears the rainbow jersey at the winter season which will be with us starting sort of october in 95 but so i'm looking forward to seeing him in the, the World Cup uh, Grundig series, which I'm sure on Eurosport we're bringing that because always, if you haven't watched this by the way and you want to set your re recorders if you're not at home at the time, we do cover the World Cup for mountain biking now and a lot more riders are getting very serious about that one as we run down that little lot there. You see Runkel, Grundal and Babel taking first, second. And Andy van der Poel, well that's probably going to be a swan song from, from uh, Cyclocross and really heading off into, uh, into mountain biking but with Honiger just behind him in fifth spot. The Swiss have got to be very, very pleased indeed with this. And uh, I think also that uh, Albert Zweifel, I didn't have time to find out, by the way, but uh, there was another Zweifel riding today in the, in, the, uh, in the junior race this morning. And he finished, uh, so I quickly check in my notes, probably around about uh, uh, seventh or eighth place. Well, Albert Zweifel, I'm not quite any relation there, was the champion of the world for five uh, years. Uh, and that really put the Swiss on the map way back in the, in the mid-70s. And they seem to have taken a lot of heart from his performances then. And here we go now with, with Tumen up on the rostrum. That certainly, as far as they're concerned, has been a, a great weekend of bike racing. That we then confirm before we have it, the presentation up on the rostrum that in the Espoir race on Saturday, uh, Prospecil of uh, Republic Czechoslovakia was first, Holger of France second, but Steiger of Switzerland was in third spot. And the Swiss have gained up a third spot this morning in the... Uh, Junior Championship, uh, when uh, Milna of the Republic of Czechoslovakia took the uh, first spot, uh, Benoist of France second, and uh, Bunter of Switzerland was in third spot. So they've now got three bronzes and one gold out of the weekend. Well, of course, the Espoir was a European Championship, not a World Championship. The reason the Espoir thing was put in was because the Open Championship now, where we have these top professionals riding, uh, is a bit too much when a lad goes past 18, becomes 19, 20, and moves into cyclocross. cross. They can't really contest at this open level because pros and amateurs now have been joined together throughout the uh, winter season. When you come to the World Championships, a bit too much for the amateurs to ride against the, the top pros with all their experience and their stamina. So with the Espoir race on Saturday, which was uh, a European championship, slight subtle difference there, but still the Swiss got themselves a bronze then, and a bronze this morning, a bronze this afternoon, and a gold medal as well from uh, Dieter Ronke. He's a runkle in that covered in rainbow jersey.
Which is nice, he can't, doesn't he? Cool and collected. Peter Uncle, as I was saying earlier, his birthday, 21st of December. So there's a nice little late birthday come Christmas present to take the rainbow jersey home. So a fake pebble, the bronze medal. And that massive crowd down there. Still a groupman flag, by the way, being way. That's interesting because they've already started the group on this thing, the new t race team, which we're going to see on the road this year. But the Scott Ryder, Runkle, champion of the world for Switzerland, 